welcome to this video tutorial okay so uh, let me explain to you the scenarios which you were talking about okay so if you want to let me run the program okay okay so initially in uh, first part of the project you have to consider for example two wind generators two pvs okay so two plus two there will be four so you have to just put four here okay and then you have to put two winds and two pvs and then you have to put zero battery energy storage system okay also you can do this by putting six here by selecting three winds three pvs okay and uh, if you want to consider battery energy storage system with them also you have to put for example six here you will consider two wind generators two pvs and two battery energy storage system so dg is actually the total number of how many wind pvs and battery energy storage system we are going to introduce but make sure you have to put the numbers for example two wind two pv two battery energy storage system you can even put three wind three pv three battery energy storage system or you can even skip one of them no need to worry about it okay so that's it so in first part we will put our battery energy storage system as zero as you already know that we have fixed our size for wind generation and pvs already there is this uh, calculation about it that is here in this file okay so we have just fixed the locations and initially we want to uh, put zero our battery energy storage system so that we can find the wind pv locations right okay so here you can see that i have just put uh, these two columns uh, these two were for the wind and pv and this th third one is for the battery energy storage system okay so here 1191 and 1191 it's minimum and maximum that is actually for pv okay um I actually uh, i think it's uh, sorry it's wind 1191 kilowatts for wind generation which i have just uh, minimum and maximum just i have fixed its size okay and for our pv i have just fixed size to 464 kilowatt okay and here is the minimum location that is around 2 and maximum location 33 here for wind uh, sorry for pv minimum locations is 2 and maximum location is 33 so in this scenario which i have just run here i just uh, uh, explain the uh, how i can choose minimum and maximum even if you want to choose uh, fixed location you have to just put uh, for example uh, 33 or if you want to consider 20 you have to just put 20 here okay and you have to put 20 here also okay uh, so in this way your locations will be uh, location will be fixed but initially i want to make sure that the optimization algorithm find best location for us uh, for wind and for pv okay and uh, battery energy storage system is zero that's why this section uh, is not considered here okay so let me run the program Step. okay let me uh, roll it with okay so it means this section is not considered yet okay okay so let me just break the program here okay let me run the program again uh, just considering four and two wins two pv zero battery energy storage system okay and let me make sure okay so i just want to uh, run the program and uh, uh, let's see okay 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 uh, now the program is running and at the end of this program it will display uh, the sizes and locations for us okay so let's see uh, what result it gives us so in this way this is the first part by this part you will get the best location for your pv and for your wind generation wind generation so in this way just uh, you can uh, note down these values or you can even uh, you can even uh, note down the voltage profile and all that stuff you can note down each and everything okay so later you can uh, make a comparison on yourself okay so here you can see that we have two generations and uh, the first generation is 2430 and the second generation is uh, for the PV is 199916 uh, okay
okay so let's move on to second part okay so uh, i just run it and here you can see that for our wind we have two locations for our pv we have two locations size are fixed okay so fixed size i already explained that fixed sizes are put here okay and if you want to choose go with one wind one pv then it will be fine that you can put for example uh, let me run the program again and okay so for example i want to choose two digits one wind one pv okay zero battery image storage system at let's and let's run the program okay so in that case when you will choose one pv one wind that will be fine that you can put uh, a number which we will get at the end so for wind we get 30 so you can put 30 here okay 30 here and uh, you can put 16 here okay and you can put 16 here okay now you have to save the program and after that you have to run the program now you have to choose three and then you have to one wind one pv one batting registry system so now we have fixed our wind and pv size and also we fix locations for our wind and pv and now we want to find the size for our batting registry system uh, batting registry system size and location so let me explain to you the third part so here is the minimum uh, for batting registry system let me make it 200 and uh, let me make it maximum to 3000 so so this is the range which on which algorithm have to work to find the best size so size range is 100 to 3000 kilowatts and the locations is you can choose from 2 to 33 so in this way we have fixed our location size for pv and wind and we want to find the optimal location and size for our battery energy storage system the size range you can change it from 100 to 3000 or 0 to 2000 and location you can also change from 1 to 33 or you can even choose 10 to 33 so uh, that's it when you will run the program you can see at the end that we get the results and let me show you the results okay i have just paused the video because there was a technical issue and let me explain to you that also in a moment okay so here is 30 we put 30 above here 30 for our pv sorry for wind and for pv 16 and now this is the uh, this is the size optimal size this is the location and this is the optimal size based on the fix so by this program uh, you can do anything okay and here you can also uh, consider the data voltage profile which we get from here and you can compare this thing with the uh, voltage profile okay and if you want to compare uh, the voltage profiles you have to go into the load flow 2 file and uh, you have to just uh, uncheck this thing uh, on your side uh, just you have to uh, put here and you have to put this thing here so in this way by uh, in load flow 2 file only in load flow 2 file not in load flow file okay so you have to just put these numbers and uh, let me run again the program with uh, only 10 iterations so it execute in a moment three one sorry run three one 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 okay and in without dg file we already have the have the data okay and now this is the q loss this is the p loss and this is the voltage so this was not previously added and you can add this on your side easily okay so now there is a second part just a moment okay so now when i want to choose two pv two winds
okay so now if i want to choose two pvs two wins okay in that case we have two locations so that was actually the issue and i will uh, fix that okay so um, let's go with it um, let me choose six and let me choose two and let me choose two okay but before uh, we move on let me make it hundred and uh, let me make it from two to thirty three it's okay okay from two to thirty okay that's fine okay so uh, let me break the program okay okay so i want to choose four here two win two pvs okay and zero betting the storage system okay all the three okay so now in this case uh, you can even choose three pvs three uh, wins zero betting the storage system if you want to go with three pair okay so in that case we have two locations and two sizes so there is no issue of sizes for wind and pv because we have fixed our size uh, for PV and win. There is an issue with their locations. Okay. So now in this case, let me take a photo of it. Okay. Okay. I just take a photo of it. Okay. And now I have two locations. But here, uh, th there is a limitation and that is uh, limitation is about we can fix the numbers for only one PV or one win okay sizes are okay okay there is no issue sir. but there is an issue with the locations so how to fix that I mean we can fix one location here but when we when we want to consider two locations of the wins or PV at the same time then we have to uh, modify our algorithm a little bit let me explain to you how we can do that I just take a photo of it okay and you have to go into the load flow file just left click here run the program okay go with the four two two zero run okay okay now now just move your cursor to DG okay go here just copy here and run it okay so first of all you have to make sure that the every value is in per unit and over the locations you can say are divided by the thousand okay so we have total here 12 rows uh, sorry 12 columns and uh, actually this is one row uh, you can say two rows okay so we have 12 columns so this is the four eight this is the nine entry so nine and ten entry is for our wind and the 11th and 12th is for our solar okay because first we initialize wind and later we initialize the pv so first two were our winds and the later two were our pvs so these two are the locations two locations okay okay so now here at this point we have to just fix our locations in the load flow file so let me show you how you can do that in case of three you have three numbers here for wind uh, locations and three numbers for your pv locations. so you have to just dg and you have to put the number so this is the number four eight nine nine okay you have to put nine here and after that you have to equal and again you have to do it nine nine in case of two pvs we have okay nine ten eleven twelve okay so when we have two pv two wins then you have to put 9 10 for win and 11 12 location for your pv so here i have data for my win i have 30 24 just put 30 24 make sure put semicolon okay and 16 and 9 okay 16 semicolon 
nine semicolon. So now we have fixed our locations. And in case of three wins, three PVs, we have six numbers. So first three will be, so you have to just take a picture of it and you have to just replace it, okay? And now I have just put my data, okay? And now let me run the program again and let me choose six, two, sorry. Let me run again, six, two, two PV, two betting edge storage system and boom. Okay, so uh, at the end, I will make sure that my locations are exactly same. And if they are same, then that's good. So for if you want to consider one PV, one wind uh, with comparison with one battery energy storage system, you have to directly replace numbers here. Okay, and in case of two winds, two PVs or three winds, three PVs, you have to just... Uh, uh, add these four extra lines, okay, and the procedure I just explained it to you Okay, so as you can see that 30 24 9 16 oh, You can even put 16 uh, 69, okay, no issue. So our optimal locations are 9 and 19 and our betting register system is sizes this one hundred and nine zero one. okay and uh, secondly, there's a point that uh, when you will run the program again and again, there is a, it's an iterative method. So there is a small variation in the results, location or size. So don't worry about that. You may run four to five times and just record the best results. That's it. Hopefully uh, this will help you a lot and thanks for watching.